I make a lot of videos and I got a request about how to split a screen in half on a website, which is to put all this cryptocurrency one through eight links on the left hand side and all this Somnium on the right hand side. And there's a, a few different ways of doing it, but one of the easiest ways is to build a table. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I have a master's in IT with a focus of web design. I have a lot of videos here about HTML and CSS showing people how to build things. So this is what we're going to try to do here, how to split a page in half with these on the right hand side. So you can squish this all the way over to the right and then have, you know, your blog posts, um, your recent posts and everything over here, and then all of your content over here. So you'd have almost 80% of the entire screen with your regular page and then 20% of your screen with whatever's going on over here, possibly ads, something like that. But um, let's try to recreate this right now. I'll show you how to do it in HTML. The first thing you wanna do is open up a notepad on your desktop and uh, let's just copy this, copy, paste, and save this as onto your desktop. Make sure you change this to all files and save it as hey2.html. Needs to be saved as HTML. Save this to my desktop. It should pop up right over here. It looked just like this. I could open this up and show you all of the code, but it, it's a total mess when you start adding things and adding things and adding things to it. But once you get this whole thing set up, you start moving forward and moving forward and all the code might look like a mess in the end, but you did every little bit of it by yourself. So let's start with start HTML. Come down to the bottom, end HTML. And then indent one, start body. Come down here, indent one, end body. When I say end body, you put that forward slash right there to end it. And then we're gonna start a table. Now I'm gonna push this down here just so you can see the table layout before we move on. End, oops, table. And then you're gonna have a table row and the table columns. TR stands for table row, start table row, end table row. So everything inside this first row, here's the first column, end first column, second column, and second column and I like to put a little one here and a two here just to make sure that everything is set up correctly and that there's not a problem with you know if I do this then it, it could ruin the whole thing so uh, save this and I need to drag hey two in here like that all right here we go how to split a page in half so nothing all of this stuff that I just added is showing nothing except this one little line right here now I'm going to take this line and let's put it actually I want to put it above the table because I want it to make it I want it to make it well, actually I can make a new table row actually let's do that that sounds fun one two three four table row and table row this one's only going to have one column because I want it to be in the very center and table row paste and I want it to be an h1 so that's an end h1 at the end and this is a start h1 in the front so this should just be sent oh, it's not even going to be centered though it's just going to be bigger now i can center this entire thing if i want to but i'm just going to wait a second so um, if i didn't want that there i can just take this h1 and basically put it right here instead and i can take out this entire table row and it recognizes as exactly the same thing then I can come in here and do a style equals quote quote and then you put your style inside here which is text dash align colon center semicolon save refresh right in the center okay now we have one and two and save refresh we have our table right here but it's way over here it's not centered don't care that it's centered or not centered right now so let's start working inside the table and the whole entire table, I'm going to put a border equals one so that you can see the size around it. It forms to the size that you add. So if I add a bunch of zeros here, save the two on the right side is going to just extend. So then you can put padding around here. You can change this entire table to however you look. You can change the color of it to, you know, black, the whole border. But for now, we're just trying to center it. This second uh, so let's increase the size of this first column by adding a width 
equals. And if you don't know what pixels are, this is all in pixels. You're going to have to just kind of play with it and refresh. Okay, that's 100. I want it to be much bigger than that. Let's go with 400. Save. Refresh. Okay. Now I can take this and same exact thing that I already did up here. There's much easier ways to do this, but just for showing you how to do this right now, that's just another tag that we can put to center this inside the table. That one is going to then center. I just saved it. It's going to come right over here. Refresh. And I can extend the size of this and then center it if I want to also. But I kind of want the the second part of this to start right in the middle. I like this left side, how it's centered and going down the page centered, but this one I want to start on the left side. So it's kind of hugging along the way. But what you can do is then take this border out so that it looks nice and neat. Save, refresh. So it doesn't look like you put this corny table in there just to be able to get this done. And then we wanted the picture on this side. So in order to do the picture, we have to take out this number. I already have the picture on my desktop right here, but all you have to do is save it onto your desktop. This one is a JPEG. So if I hit uh, oops, properties, you can see it's a .jpg. So all I have to do is type in bikini.jpg. So let's start an image. That's how you, let me just open that up a little bit. So inside here, the blank space isn't even recognized, but this is an image. And then this is looking for the file name, which is bikini.jpg. Save, it's pulling this right here. No matter what size it is right now, I'm not defining the size, so it's just gonna come in as a full size. Wow, it's big. So we're gonna have to shrink that down a little bit with the height and width. So here's the width on the image. And let's also throw a height equals, and then we can play with the height and width however we want. Let's start with uh, 600 for height, and maybe let's go down to 300 for that equals refresh. Okay, good. So now you have this in the center. This is on the right. Let's open the screen up. Full size, this doesn't look quite right. I need to make this a little bit, this is only 300 pixels. A typical screen is well over a thousand, so it might be more like, um, 600 let's start with 600 on that first the first TD is the first row for the one that the one is in and it ends right here so we're gonna have 600 pixels wide save refresh I keep pushing her over I want her kind of in the middle here so I'm gonna push it a little bit further let's go with 700 save refresh if you save and refresh and it does nothing you just did something wrong or if you didn't type it in right something like that but um, she's good enough in that spot right now. And I wanted the other part to say, hey, everyone. So all I have to do is change that one to, hey, everyone. Save. Now, if you wanted this, let's just bump this up to 1,000. Save. Refresh. She's only got 300 pixels. I can even push it over a little further. Let's go 1,200 and see how far over it goes. Refresh. All right, so it's way over there now. Now I can take this. Hey everyone, and I'm just going to copy and paste it about five times without any uh, line breaks going downward. So this is going to go to the right, save, refresh. All right, that's what I was looking for. So this is your entire blog post here. This is centered in the entire top part of the page before the table even starts. Then the table starts right underneath it, and this is column one, and this is column two. So if I added her a second time, so let's do a little break right here break one line down and then we're going to grab this entire exact same image and paste it right after see how this is starting to get messy but you're doing it one by one as long as you're doing it one by one you'll it's a step-by-step -step process and you'll get there so now you can start scrolling down and maybe we want two pick two line breaks there because she's connected to the top pick so save that refresh it down a little bit further so this is how your blog post is going to go you're going to have you know your header over here this says Chris Bell's blog, cool. And then this is gonna be on the left side and you can put your ads over here on the right along the way. You can squeeze this as tight as you want over here on the left and you can keep posting a nice long post right down here. And then just, um, so then the second thing that you would do if you wanted to, uh, you could take this entire table, copy it, and then put break, break, oops, three breaks. And let's put the exact same thing just so that we can scroll down a little bit and see how this is gonna look for a blog. So I didn't copy anything up here. All I copied was a table twice. So that's not gonna come up twice. And it's just keep going down like this. So this is how your blogs are gonna start looking along the way. Pretty cool.
And if you wanted the border to actually be there on the left, this table, it just doesn't look that great until you actually style the border. I'm not going to do all of that here now. I'm not going to show you how to style the entire thing. But if you wanted to, it just looks a little weird with the table. Um, so I only put a border around the first table. I didn't put a border around the second table. And uh, this is what it looks like. So, I mean, whatever. To each their own, your blog, your, your, your style, whatever you want to do. Um, I, I just like to, you know, center things a lot and I, I put it down the middle, but this is pretty cool on the left hand side, how you can split the screen and it looks like this. So that's how you do it. That's the easiest way to do it. It's just a split screen. If you don't want to use a second external CSS sheet, you can just kind of do it right here. It doesn't look as messy when you open it up. You have your table end table here. This one has the border table end table here. This one has no border. Everything else is identical and the body and the HTML, your whole page is ended so that when you put this in online, they're going to read this entire page and they say, okay, this is the end. No reason to continue looping around and trying to figure out what else this page has for me. It ends here. But if you don't put end HTML, then it, it just, they don't know it ends. So you have to stop it from ending. And it might look like an infinite looping where it's just not loading. Uh, it's not stopping loading. It's just going to continue on. But good luck out there. Have fun.